Great leaders know their strengths and can call on the right strength at the right time. It's about setting an example to influence others so they can be better. I am Devin May, and I am ready for the new season. Yeah, I'm what you want to be, ain't no one ahead of me. All of my enemies made the decision, it's better to follow me. I make no apologies, all of my sins I would repeat and I repeat, cause I'm a beat me till the death of me. Oh, yeah. I can smell you, feel the only reason that I'm here is to wreak havoc. Everybody praying that I'll change it. Maybe one day, but tomorrow I'll be back at it. Cause that heart is they die hard. We live fast, we die hard. Go against me, we die hard. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching SFU Volleyball on Clan TV. I'm your host, Amanda Rankema. I will be doing the play-by-play -play tonight. This weekend, the Clan Volleyball team uh, will be hosting two Alaska teams, starting with the University of Alaska Nanooks. SFU will look for their eighth win in a row against a team that they have had success against in years past. Here's a quick recap of what happened last week. On Wednesday night, the clan opened their GNAC schedule right here in the West Gym in front of a large crowd and earned a historic win over their border rival, Western Washington Vikings. Last Wednesday, the clan won 3-2 to two versus Western uh, in sets, or yeah, five set game. I was here watching it. It was a nail biter. Went back and forth. They won 25-13, fell 21-25, won the third set 25-21, fell again in the fourth set 18-25, and were triumphant for a 15-8 win and a very exciting uh, victory, first time in SFU history. On Friday, they went to Montana and played the Montana, Montana State University Billings, uh, and they swept them 3-0, 25-20, 25-20, and 25-23, uh, Betsy DeBeer had her first collegiate start that night. She had 10 kills, hit a .429, and had 11 digs and 11 points. Emma Jennings was uh, another player of the game there. 13 kills, .294, 10 digs, and 14.5 points in the game. Their overall record now sits 9-1. and one. Uh, In the GNAC 2-0, and oh, one of the... Uh, two undefeated teams in the GNAC currently, so that's super exciting. The other team who is undefeated is the University of Alaska Anchorage, who they are facing tomorrow. As we mentioned, the clan will look to make it to eight straight wins tonight. Standing in their way are the Nanooks of Alaska Fairbanks, led by head coach Brian Scott. The opponents tonight come all the way from Alaska Fairbanks. Head coach Brian Scott, as I mentioned, so far he's led uh, their team to a two and seven overall record, one and one in GNAC play. Last week they won three to two versus Seattle Pacific University and lost two to three versus uh, St. Martin's University. Um, versus SFU last season, they lost, uh, they got swept at home actually on October 15th and swept here in the West Gym on November. 14th on Clan Senior Night. The Clan has not dropped a set to the Nanooks in the last four contests in 2014 and 2015. Uh, players to watch for the Nanooks, number 17, Amberly Jean. She had 2.7 kills per set um, and three points per set. Maddie Davis, uh, number eight, 2.4 kills per set and 2.94 points per set. 13 uh, service aces. That is a big number to look for. And Rachel Nichols, uh, their setter, 353 assists, 
uh, 9.54 assists per set and uh, nine serving aces. So two killer servers on the Nanooks. Let's see if the clan can take them. It will be exciting to see if SFU can continue their strong play tonight at home as they look to extend their win streak. That's it for us on the pregame show for you. Now we'll take a short break and have the anthems and player introductions for you right after this. You're watching SFU Volleyball on Clan TV. are 
Carter taking the court for the SFU clan. Their starting lineup uh, is Emma Jennings, a power hitter. Christine Howlett, also a power hitter. Maddie Powers, a middle. Tamara Nip, their setter. Tessa May, another middle. Devin May, her older sister. Yeah, another power. And Allison McKay, their libero. For uh, number for uh, the Nanooks, their uh, starting lineup, they have uh, number one, Rachel Nichols. That's their setter. They have uh, number 17 out there, Maddie, or number eight, sorry, Maddie Davis. Number 17, a Amberly Jean. Number one, Rachel Nichols. I already said that. Number 12, Kim Wong. Number 20, Riley Podogwicks. And number six, Megan Olson. Tonight, uh, the clan face a team that they've had not many, or they, they haven't lost a set in quite some time, in a couple years here. Uh, when I was playing for the clan, we didn't drop too many sets against the Nanooks. They always had a couple strong outside hitters, but um, always were able to put up a big block uh, that was something we always did well back in the day, so keys for the clan here, not let their guard down. It is tougher to play teams uh, when you're on a hot streak, and they have a little bit of a different a different uh, approach to the game. So just as long as the clan keeps their strong offense, uh, has is uh, disciplined on their defense, I don't think they'll have a problem tonight facing uh, the, no the Nooks here. Allison McKay with the second serve of the game here. Dig a 10. Emma Jennings putting it outside to Devin. Dug up by the Nanooks. Pushed behind. A little tip wraparound. Tamara Nip sets up Christine Howlett for the shank and kill. Point SFU. Second point for SFU. Allison McKay with the jump fault. Set into the middle, big kill. Nanooks. Kim Wong with the kill in the middle there. Megan Olsen with the serve for the Nanooks. Push behind to Christine, who rips it down the line. Christine Howlett with the kill for the SFU clan. Three to one, clan. Jamie Bratsburg comes in the game for the SFU clan uh, to sub up Christine, give her a little bit of a break. The Nooks with the receive. And a, yep, hit up, no, it was a contact off the block. Points for the Nooks. Yeah, those refs, they have some good eyes out there. Jump serve. The Nooks push really tight outside to Devin. That's a tough play uh, for a power hitter when you're pushed tight and outside of the antenna. Not much you can do there. And as a blocker, it's pretty easy to read, and you just got to put your hands up on the ball and hope that uh, or the, the hitter's got to hope that they can find the court or not hit the antenna. In that case, unfortunately, uh, hit the antenna. Push behind for Tessa May. Good dig by the Nanooks. Easy free ball, Allison, with a nice gift. Oh, and there's a dump by Tamara Nip. Not always a fan of the dump, but that was a tight pass, so. Tamara, who was actually Offensive Player of the Week last year, or this past week, defensive, excuse me, for the clan. Um, showing, I was gonna say, I knew, sorry, I have someone in my ear here, I, it was offensive. She uh, just got another kill for the clan, so good for her. Nanooks answering back with a quick kill. Shank, and,
Paola up to serve number 10 for the uh, Nanooks. Oh, what a sneaky little serve. Touched the tape and rolled over. That's a 50-50 shot, I'd say. Sometimes it works in your favor and sometimes it doesn't. The Nooks needed that point. Five to four. The Nooks take the lead with that sneaky little serve. Paola again with the jump spin. Perfect pass, Jamie Bratsburg. Set up behind. Oh, and Tessa May smashes it in front of Paola. She was even early on that. Way to have some hang time there. Tessa May behind the line here, ready to serve. Tipped over on the right side and just gets by Tessa May, who's digging out of five. She'll go off now for a little bit of a break. Allison McKay back in for the plan. And serving the notes here. Uh, right into the net. Sometimes you gotta count your blessings and take those points. Marinette with the jump float. Tough serve. The Nooks with the 31. Huge dig by Devin May. That's continued by Emma Jennings. Another 31. Dug up. No set. Christine Hallett with the continue. Set back. And huge block. Emma Jennings on the outside. Big point, SFU. Tough outside hit, good dig by Allison McKay. Emma Jennings with a tool off the block, just out, point as if you plan to Marinette with another serve. It is now eight to six for the clan. Marinette with a tough serve, set outside, big block, Christine Howlett. Take a replay of that. Huge block. Good finish with her hands there. Tamarinette on a hot serving streak here. The Nooks trying to answer back. A little bit of an over bump. Bump set behind, you don't always see that. A little bit of a struggle by the clan receiving that back. Fairbanks with the point. Substitution here. Number seven coming in, Jenna Hickel. She is a typical serving defensive sub. Thirty-one attempt by Maddie Powers. Set behind Christine Hallett and off the block point. That's a few plan. Sometimes it's not about power, because if you hit a powerful ball into a big block, it's just going to go straight down on you. Sometimes you got to use your angles. Emma Jennings with a deep serve point. Another kill. For SFU Clan, Madison Power slams it down. Allison McKay coming back in and serving it up here. That looked like it was going out. Touched though by the Nanooks and Shanks. Point Clan. Best thing you can do as a server, put the ball over the net. That's what Gina Schmidt always said. Uh, sh make them make a choice, make them make the error. And I think in that case, Allison served it a little bit deep, but they they made the choice to take it, and it was a hard-driven serve, and they were able to capitalize. Another point, SFU. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, that was in enough. Excuse me. I thought that was in, but it was out. A little bit of a collision there for the clan and a double contact. Refs are going to call. Yep. Uh, point to Nux. Number six, Megan Olsen back to serve again. And Jennings with the dig set behind again from Christine. Slams it on the line. That's a beautiful shot. Let's see a replay of that one. That's a huge hit. Jamie Bradsburg again to serve for the clan. Little 61 action, big dig. Allison McKay pushed all the way out. Oh, and just couldn't quite make it over the net. Tried to do a deep throw, I think, but uh, yeah, that net sometimes gets in the way. Serve, uh, serving is the Nooks again. Number one, Rachel Nichols. Little short serve. Step around attempt. Yeah, and it scores. Again, use that block. If there's going to be a block, use those angles. At this level, most people are pretty quick, so it's very important to use the block because you're not, there's very few times where you're going to have open space, open net to just slam the ball down. So you've got to really make sure that you are using your angles, um, using mismatches. Sometimes there's a shorter and a taller server who are going to reach different points. So capitalizing on those and um, yeah, really using, using that to your advantage. Another big kill, Emma Jennings on the outside. SFU. 16-11. And let's take a replay while there's a timeout called by the Nooks. Yeah, that was a big hit in the face, but hey, that was dug. Sometimes it's not pretty. Jamie Brassberg, that will count as big on her stats, I think. Face or arms, doesn't matter. First contact, it's up. That's your dig. Today's game is live streamed in HD, and you can watch it at athletics.sfu.ca slash live. This game will also be available on demand at athletics.sfu.ca slash on demand. Thank So far the clan has had a pretty flawless game. All the serves have been in. That's a huge part of uh, as lame as it sounds, uh, just keeping your momentum. Uh, there's nothing worse than coming off a big block, a big kill, and missing your serve. So just being very disciplined making digs when they need them, um, making those kills and putting away those longer rallies. That's really what's uh, working for them right now. Uh, it's good to see everyone, everyone's uh, looking, everyone's, everyone's helping out is what I'm trying to say. Everyone's a part of this game right now. And um, yeah, everyone's looking sharp. The Nooks have their work cut out for them. That's a good answer back after a timeout. Uh, usually on a timeout, the coach calls it, you need a break, you need a mental break, whatever it is, um, and refocus. So the Nanooks just did a very good job of that, coming out with a kill, first point, responding well. Number 10, Paola with the jump spin. And that's a few trying to make a kill, a big block on the outside. Number 11, Angela Molesworth. Another big point for the Nooks. There's not a lot of jump spin servers as females, at least from uh, my experience. Um, 
there's definitely a time and a place for them, but if you don't have the trajectory or the power, there's not really a point. Um, evidently, uh, number 10 on the Nanooks is doing a good job putting SFU in trouble, so definitely uh, she's probably <laughs> taken quite a few years to perfect that one. I know for myself that toss alone is just super difficult to master, so good on her. See, that's a jump serve, and that's an ace. Beautiful. That's a great serving sub. And Katie Dolgic, she's a freshman. This is her third collegiate game uh, for the SFU clan. She redshirted last year. And another ace. That is awesome. Coach Schmidt is probably pretty happy with her decision to put her in the game right now. And another timeout for the Nanooks. It is 19 to 13. So I started uh, at SFU in 2010. It was our inaugural year in the NCAA. We were just this little Canadian team coming out to play with the big dogs and it was a difficult time. I um, was a freshman, um, except I redshirted. So, so I uh, definitely had to learn the ropes pretty quickly, but I had time to kind of ease into it at the same time because I wasn't traveling and I knew I wasn't suiting up ever. So definitely a huge um, development year for me um, as a middle. Um, unfortunately, I had I had a few teammates leave, and uh, just because they in the in Canada we're allowed five years, in the CIS we're allowed five years of play. So a lot of people wanted to hold on to those precious years because they were going to be cut short ones. So we had a couple teammates leave, and um, yeah, we kind of rebuilt from the start, and here we are now, SFU on a huge winning streak, looking for their eighth win in a row here. Best season they've had since they joined the NCAA. Katie Dolgick again with the serve. And they pass it up this time behind. And a dig for the clan and just a deep push out to uh, or for from Emma Jennings. Point for the clan. 20 to 13 for SFU at this point. Another serve, putting them in trouble, pushing it out to the outside. Big dig, Katie Dalgic pushed outside to Emma Jennings. Little touch on the block. Good save. And just a little bit out in the nooks. Uh, that's a point for the clan. Katie Dolgick again with the serve. Bit of a streak here. As a server, it's really important to get that first serve after a timeout in, of course, or else we call it a coach's point. A coach who ser or called the timeout gets the point, essentially. Wow, that's a big block by Tamara Nip. Another point by the clan, for the clan, 21-13. Twenty-two, thirteen. Pump is a little slower. Good dig by the clan. Passed up easily by the Nooks, and a little roll shot over the block. That was number eight, Maddie Davis. A little sneaky sometimes. You just gotta slow it right down, take control, get the point. Riley Pot Potowitz with the serve and uh, returned by Maddie Power with the kill on the step around. That was straight down the line. That's a difficult ball. Uh, not right at the digger in five either. So that's a, that's a tough, tough hit every time to dig. Not a lot of time to re respond. 23-14 for the clan. Tamara Nip with the serve. A 31, huge Hit by number 12, Kim Wong. That's a big point to Nooks. Number seven coming in the game, Jenna Hickel uh, to serve. Let's 
Just a little jump float. Perfect pass, Devin May. Pushed outside to Emma Jennings. Big block. That's number one, Rachel Nichols. That's their setter. She's 5'9 on my sheet here. That was a big block for someone who's 5'9. When you're uh, not six feet, you really got to make up for it in those in the hops. Nice save by the Nanooks. Good dig. 51 real quick. Sneaks through the block. Maddie Power with the kill. Possible game here. Emma Jennings going back to serve. 24 to 16. First set. And a step around attempt by Kim Wong and scores. Nanooks point. Fighting, a little bit of fight in them right now. Twenty-four seventeen. Allison McKay. Christine Hallett with the kill on the right side, and that will finish up the first set. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Thanks for watching Clan TV. Champions keep working until they get it right. The more you dream, the harder you work, the farther you get. I'm Amadi Kamara, and I am ready for the new season. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. A successful team beats with one heart and believes in one goal, together. I'm Caitlin Erhardson, and I'm ready for the new season. One team, 400 athletes strong. We sing not one, but two national anthems. We strive to always be better. We put our heart into competition. We pursue national championships and university degrees. We care about our communities. We are. We are. We are Canada's NCAA team. Canada's NCAA team. Canada's NCAA team. We are Canada's NCAA team. All right, welcome back. We are just uh, after the first set here uh, at in the West Gym at Simon Fraser University. The clan has uh, taken the first set here uh, against the Alaska Fairbanks Nanooks. A uh, couple people to look out for in the upcoming sets here for SFU. Christine Howlett, she uh, came out storming, has six kills already, it's eight total attempts for point set or a 750 uh, attack average. That's awesome. Uh, Madison Power also coming out with a bang. Uh, three kills, four attempts. Another seven, 750 uh, percentage there. Uh, that's a pretty pretty high percentage. Uh, I think on our team goals, we were aiming for 300s back in the day. So they're well well over that. Uh, for the Nanooks, uh, Kim Wong, uh, middle, middle blocker for them, came out with three kills and six total attempts. So she's sitting at uh, 500. And, Good, another good uh, attack average. And Angela Molesworth, an outside hitter. Three kills, two errors, and seven total attempts. So um, look out for those guys. Uh, probably going to keep setting the hot players right now. So uh, teams are taking the court. As if you will serve first. It's 
to Marinip with 15 total assists last set. And uh, Rachel Nichols for the Denooks, the uh, nine total as uh, assists in that set. Tamara Nip starts the set with the serve. Nanooks set a 51 and score. Big point. Nanooks, number 12. Kim Wong with another kill. Told you. Told you she was going to come out. Their libero, Megan Olsen, back to serve. Little jump. Float into the net, unfortunately. That is a point for the clan. Tied up in 1 1. Emma Jennings going back to serve. Again, another jump float. Pushed outside for the Nanooks. And that's a great shot by number 17, Amberly Jean. That's a really tough spot uh, to dig. You have the digger in five and the digger in six crossing over because it's kind of that no man's land, but someone's got someone's to take it. Unfortunately, I think there was a seam in the block again. Tough for the, the diggers to go and read that behind. Clan responding with a 51 Madison Power in the middle. And again with the 51 attempt. Perfect. That scored. Don't try or it doesn't work the first time. Try it again. Let's see a replay on that one. Allison McKay put that serve in. And it is a point for the Nanooks. Uh, number 11, Angela Molesworth with the tool off the block. Uh, number 10 going back to serve for the Nanooks. Here's that big jump spin. Allison McKay receiving it pretty well. A little bit tight. Oh, Tessa May fixed it on that 51. Big kill in the middle. Here's that substitution that SPU typically does. Jamie Bradford coming in for Christine Howlett. Jamie Bradford with a float serve. 31. Nanooks and shanked by the clan. Point Nanooks. Riley Podowitz going back to serve. Tough serve. Tight set. And it's looking like, okay, Ref is calling that hit, that outside hit out of bounds. Point Nanooks. Again, tough one. Tamara had to go to her knees to set that and uh, just got a little bit tight there. Oh boy, what's going on here? Volleyball's a crazy game. All about momentum. A couple mistakes you get in your head, you start not trusting your teammates, you start having communication errors, and it all goes downhill. Uh, it's early in the game, Clan have lots of time to get it back in check, and that might be all it takes just to serve at a bounce. When you are the team who is on that momentum streak, you gotta make sure that your energy's up or it ch can very well change back on you. Uh, Devin May with a jump serve here for the clan. 31, big dig, Nanooks. Outside, bump set, Tessa May stole that from her setter. And oh, a little dump attempt to Marinette. Oh, and that's a flared step around. That means it's off, off the net. And <laughs> somehow that scores. A little bit of a scramble play there. Um, again, going back to the keys of the game here, Clan are going to have to stay disciplined. And uh, on that, it just looked like everyone was kind of uh, scrambling and wasn't exactly sure where they needed to be. So if they can find their... Um, find where they need to be again and stay disciplined, then uh, I'm sure they'll take back control. There's a good use of the block. Kill by Emma Jennings. Uh, that's a few point. We have some substitutions coming in here. Katie Dalgic coming in to serve for Tessa May. 
Uh, last set, she had two aces in a row. This is her third collegiate game. Nooks with the step around, a little bit wide. Maddie Power with a great step around to answer back point, SFU. Step arounds were my favorite, favorite, favorite play because you get to run around uh, in, into the right side and you get to see the court, which is not always uh, easy for a middle because everything's so quick. So you actually get to kind of look, see the block, see the open areas and kind of pick and choose where you want to put it. And a lot of the time you go up on one leg, like a layup, if you will. Uh, so you get more height on your on your uh, attack. And then, uh, yeah, you can, you can slam it on the T-line or you can tip it over the block. And usually, like, we had the most success with the step around. And Klein is still using that now. Another step around. Good block by the Nooks. Pushed outside to Maddie Power. Another block by the Nooks. And pushed outside. Dug up. Little set by Rachel Nichols, the setter. And she scored just short enough. With, or couldn't, Allie couldn't quite get to it that time. Number 15, Tatum Upchurch with the serve. Emma Jennings with a roll shot for the clan. Oh, I don't know what happened on that side. It kind of looked like it was supposed to be a 31, maybe a hut, but uh, whatever the case, it was pushed out of bounds by the Nanooks Point clan. Tamara Nip serving again, and there's that sneaky, sneaky serve. Could go either way. The net is sometimes your friend, and sometimes it's not. This time, it was on the clan side. Actually, at the beginning of the game, on the same side, the Nook scored the same way. So maybe it's uh, the, the net on this side versus the other side is going to work out in your favor. I would not test that again, though. Number six, Megan Olsen, the libero, back to serve for the Nanooks. We're at 10 to 8 for the Nanooks. Step around, Christine Howlett, and that's a big block on the outside again. Oh, block out of bounds. Sorry, I did not even see that. Uh, point clamp. Emma Jennings with the serve. And that is a huge kill. Let's see an o or let's see a replay of that. That is what we call a party ball, folks. I don't want to have to explain why we call it a party ball. And unfortunately, there's a serve to the net. A little bit of a buzz kill there. Number one, Rachel Nichols, back to serve for the Nooks. Like I said, game, this game is all about momentum, so if you have it, just make sure you're getting the ball on the court. Big dig, tight bump set to Devin May, who gets it back in the court. Amberly Jean. Oh, bump set to Devin May again. Little tip over the block that scores. Tessa May coming back in. To the front row, Allison McKay serving for the clan. Sorry, I was going to say Amberly Jean on the outside there, having lots of good uh, attempts, lots of power uh, on the outside there. And now, right side attempt by Amberly Jean. And that scores. A little bit too much sauce to handle. Substitution. We have our classic substitution here. Uh, Paola Oliver, Ol, sorry, Ol, Oliver Otero coming in for the Nooks. Here's the spin and the uh, serve. Ooh, tight pass 
tight set and a little tip into the block again. Not, not a lot of space for Tessa to play with there when she's putting the ball over in the middle. We need that uh, that pass to be off the net a little more. Again, another, oh, that is a big serve. And that's a timeout for the Clams. It is 13-11 for, or 14-11 for the Nooks. So right now, SFU's down after winning that first set. Uh, it's not too much of a lead, but three points is still quite a big jump in this part of the game. Um, so Clan right now, Gina's probably going to chat about the passing because it all starts with the pass. If you don't have a good pass, you're definitely not going to have a good set and you're definitely going to have a heck of a time trying to get a good um, attack or at least a setting yourself up for um, a good attack. So right now we're going to, or Gina, is, I almost guarantee that she's talking about first contact and then do what we always do, which they, their offense has been on fire. So as long as they can get this pass here, uh, they'll probably set Christine Howlett on the right side and uh, make the kill and get out of this rotation. Here's a big jump serve. They've kept their serve receives the same. Devin May, oh, there it is. Perfect pass. And like I said, Christine Howlett, what was the call on that? Ooh, calling a double contact. All right. Too bad. That was, that was a good pass. Let's, we need a side out big time here. Another jump, spin, there's a tight pass, and I thought that was actually penetration, but I'm at a different angle than the head, or the up ref here, so as if you scored regardless. Jamie Bratsberg into serve for the clamp. That's a hard driven serve. A little 61, a little push into the pot and nobody moved for it. That is a point for the Nanooks, number 11. 16 to 12, the Nanooks are up right now in the second set. Number 21, Riley Potowitz, back to serve. Step around, Tessa May. Allison McKay with a big dig, set into the back row. Emma Jennings, goal shotting it from the back row. That's a big kill, number 11. Again, Angela Molesworth. And another timeout is called for the clan. We're at 17 to 12, trailing five now. Uh, we haven't seen much of a change. We saw some better passes, uh, and now the the Nooks have uh, actually came out and attacked the ball, so that's the difference from the first set. Um, so there, there might just be a difference of, again, going back to that defensive discipline, making sure you're in the right spot, making sure you're not moving when you're passing. Uh, that makes all the difference. Um, also, setting the block a bit earlier helps your diggers uh, set up uh, for, or set up on defense, uh, and they'll move accordingly around you. Plan refocused out here. They have their starting six mostly here. Um, yeah, and then Jamie Bratsberg in for Christine on the on defense currently. Plan needs a side out right here. Number 21, Riley Podwitz with the serve. Step around, and that's a big hit. Dug up by the Nooks, back row attempt. Dug up by Allison McKay, Devin May waits a little bit, and a little roll shot, just continue. Good pickup, Jamie Bratsburg pushed outside, Devin May, and that was in the court. That was a good way to end that rally there. Uh, one, 
solo block. Devin definitely saw that and put it uh, in the deep corner. Now she's back to serve. Still got to close a bit of a gap here, 17-13 for the Nanooks. Tough serve, and it looks like it actually made it over. Fighting all odds. Oh, that's a dig off the shoulder. Big hit, Tessa May. Just a free ball for the clan. 61, slam down. Oh, and they're calling, yeah, Tessa May all over that net. A little bit tight. Sometimes, uh, especially when you, as a, well, any hitter, you got to plant your feet before you take off, or you typically you do go into the net. As a middle, you have less time because you run quicker plays for the most part. So, now yeah, you're, you're moving your feet really fast, but you still got to make sure you drive your feet into the ground before you go up uh, in order to not drift into the net. Step around. That time it scores. Shank out of bounds. Point clan, it is now 18 to 13. Still clan trailing uh, five points. Uh, sorry, excuse me, 18 14. Close it a bit. Katie Dalgic again to serve for Tessa May here. Puts them in trouble again. That's what they want. And back row attempt by Amberly Jean put into the net. Point clan. Need a couple more side outs here. Oh, uh, the Nanooks coach is definitely trying to take control of this early before uh, the clan has a chance to um, a chance to catch up. For those of you who watch volleyball, you'll know that you do get two uh, timeouts per set. I uh, have coached uh, youth. Uh, for a youth club this uh, past two years. So um, it's different being a player and having timeouts uh, in the back of your mind. But as a coach, you use them tactically. Uh, sometimes it is like just for straight up physical rest. You see your starting lineup just panting and after they need a chance to capture their breath. Uh, sometimes it's you need to tell your setter you need to be doing this or you need, you need to kind of uh, fill in the, fill in uh, the blanks of yeah different different uh, things what your players are needing to do at that time and then a lot of the time it's just to break up the momentum uh, for your opponent in that case I'm pretty sure um, Brian Scott the head coach of the Nooks wanted to break up the momentum and uh, nip it in the butt early setter dump Nanooks dug up by the clan huge kill Emma Jennings on the outside down the line that's a good answer after that timeout 18-16 is the score. Serve Katie Dalgic. Pushed outside. And that was, a, I was going to say, that was a dirty set and point. Clan. Clan trails by one only. Close the gap a bit here. Katie Dalkick on a serving run. Good substitution, coach. Push behind Kim Wong on the step around. Emma Jennings, that looked like it was going out. Again, put it over. Pushed outside. Little tip. And it scores. Number 15, Tatum Upchurch with the point for the Nanooks. Sneaky tip. Here she is to serve. Jamie Bratsburg with a good pass. Set up to Maddie Power. Puts it into the block and lands on the clan's court. That's a point for the Nanooks. Nicole Chevrier, uh, freshman for the clan. In for Madison Power, change things up again. When coach doesn't have any more timeouts, sometimes you end up calling substitutions just even though it's really quick. Just a little bit of a change of pace can throw a team off their momentum. Christine Howlett back in the front row here. Marinette back to serve. Twenty-eight 
20 to 18 for the Nanooks. Late in the second set here. 51 attempt, big dig, Devin May. Big attack, Emma Jennings. Dug up by the Nanooks, no problem. Oh, that was a little bit of a dying serve there. Oh, a little setter back dump. Dug up by the clan. And a back row attempt, Devin May, just a little bit long. Just missed the court by about a foot there. Megan Olsen, their libero, back to serve. I need a point here if they want to sweep them. That's a big hit by the, the Nanooks. A little bit of a Jeopardy ball there. Emma Jennings with an attack into the block and a big block by Riley Podowitz on the outside there. Point Nanooks. 22-18. Plan need a couple points here. Madison Power coming back in to the front row. Coach again wants to make or makes a change. Hopefully, uh, Maddie Power can do something for the clan here. They need a point. Great pass, Allison McKay. Step around, Christine Howlett. The net was shaken there. Oh boy, everything's a little tighter today. Emma Jennings with a kill. That was another ball that just died. Not a good pass, not a not the best set, but hey, sometimes you just gotta make it work. Uh, Coach Schmidt always said, better the ball, better the ball. That's a big kill on the outside, the right side. Uh, Christine Howlett. Uses the block to her advantage there. Point plan, closing this gap. Two points behind now. Looking at a replay. Christine Howlett. Oh, That is out of bounds. Point to Nooks. Easy point to Nooks. And we're making a sub. Number 11, An Angela Upchurch coming. That's right, Angela Molesworth mixing up people's first and last names here. Coming into the middle, or into the outside. Christine Howlett on the right side. That's a big point. That's a big point for Christine. Again, on fire. I don't know if that actually made it over, but it is a point regardless for the clan. Lock Tessame. And timeout Nanooks again, nipping it in the butt before the clan gained the lead here. 23 22 in the second set. Nanooks up one point. Against Coach uh, Brian Scott, probably just trying to settle everyone down, and he'll probably call a play. Uh, right now, Amberly Jean and Tatum Upchurch are. Uh, both on fire, so I'd set them if if I was if I was coach. Um, shout out to one of our sponsors, Kick to Win. Want to win free tuition? Join us at our home football games this season, and you can have a chance to be selected to kick a field goal from the 35 yard line to win free tuition. For more details on how to enter the contest, visit athletics.sfu.ca/kick. To win, kick number two, win, kick to win. Your next opportunity is Saturday, October 1st, when the clan hosts the Central Washington Wildcats at 6 p.m. on Terry Fox Field. We hope to see you there. Back to the volleyball game here. Uh, teams are out of the timeouts, and Allison McKay is behind the line to ready to serve. It is 23-22 for the Nanooks. And like I said, probably going to set Amberly Jean. Big 51 there. That was Riley Podowitz putting the ball down. Not a lot of power there, but it, hey, again, use the block, 
And uh, yeah, she evidently she scored there. It worked for her. Don't always need the huge power shots. And here we go. This is number 10, uh, Paola Oliver Otero. She has had a lot of serving success, particularly in this set. So hopefully the clan can side out early here. Allison McKay doesn't look like she's struggling too much. Oh boy, here we go. Devin May with a little bit of a tip. Clan trying to stay alive here. Emma Jennings with a dig and a set to the, into the middle. Oh boy, lots of digs, lots of attacks. Everyone's a little bit scared, I think, to swing away here because it is such a tight game and it's 24 to 22 for... Oh, and that is the set. Nanooks victorious in the second set here. Uh, so that makes it one to one. Uh, we're going to take a short break um, and we'll be right back with you. Thanks for watching Clan TV. If I lose, I'll respond with respect. If I win, I'll back it up with humility. If I fail, I'll rise up with honor. It's tough for us to put it all on the line. Don't undo my hard work with poor sportsmanship. Respect. It's the name of the game.
I love softball quite a bit. It's been a large part of my life, so it's hard. I mean, it, since we put so much time into the sport, I think you wouldn't be able to play at the level that we play at if you didn't love the game. As a hard-hitting outfielder, senior co-captain Rachel Proctor has pursued her passion for SFU, helping the clan establish itself as Canada's NCAA softball team. At the same time, she has transformed herself from a highly touted recruit into the 2016 Bill DeVries Top All-Around Female Athlete. As one of the leaders on the team, I've um, mentored some of the younger um, athletes and people coming onto the team just by showing them hard work and that it's not always about the natural talent that you're given, but it's just about the work that you put in. It's even the work that you put into your academics, into your weights, into practices, into games, and that can exceed anything that you have thought of yourself previously. During her time on Burnaby Mountain, Proctor has pushed herself to become one of the top batters in the conference, earning GNAC All-Conference honors. She's also lifted her teammates to become better too, relishing her role as mentor. Our program has something we call like TTL, which is like touch the line. So making sure you go not just to the point of hard work, but kind of beyond the point of hard work. So demonstrating to every, all the younger athletes how hard work can take you to places that you never thought you could. I think how I help other athletes academically is through Learning Coach and that's kind of like a mentor to just help younger athletes time manage and help them know that their resources are here at SFU and that they kind of have someone to lean on. This year, Proctor made the Dean's Honor Roll and she carries a 3.25 CGPA in Health Sciences. When she's not studying or practicing, Proctor and her teammates are out in the community. Every Halloween since I've been here and I know previously to even when I came. Um, we do a Halloween hospital visit. So we go to uh, Surrey Memorial Hospital, we go into pediatrics and we go around and we hand out um, goodie bags to people who wouldn't be able to go trick or treating. And it's a really um, enjoyable experience just to see how happy the kids are. And we all dress up in our costumes. I know Nicole is Donald Duck and she's 6'4 in her Donald Duck hat and the kids absolutely love it. So it's really good experience to see how happy it makes them. Like all great leaders, Proctor actively shares her love for softball as a role model, hoping to ignite the dreams of young girls. We do camps for kids. We do a Christmas camp and we do camps throughout the summer. So I think that's a good way for us to show our community side and how much we are passionate about the community, but also how much we're passionate about softball. And it's a good way to see young kids to look up to us in a way that this is where we started from where they are at one point and then they can maybe see how far we've gone with softball and where it's taken us. And that's something to like for them to look up to. Champions are laser focused, motivated, excited about winning, and resilient towards setbacks and failures. It's about doing your best and discovering you have more to give. I am Oliver Jorgensen, and I'm ready for the new season. I'm Tamara Nip on the volleyball team. You're watching Clan TV, home of Canada's NCAA team. Welcome back to Clan TV. I am your play-by-play -play announcer, Amanda Rankma. We are about to start the third set pretty soon here. It is SFU Clan versus Alaska Fairbanks Nanooks. Uh, they're one and one apiece here. Uh, Clan typically has been uh, triumphant over the Nanooks, so the Nooks giving them a run for their money right now. Uh, players to look out for for the Nanooks: um, Kim Kim Wong. She has five t kills, one error, 13 total attempts. Uh, she's hitting a 308 right now. Uh, Riley Potowitz, the other middle. Uh, four kills, zero errors, nine total attempts, hitting a 444. That is a good percent or attack percentage. It's been so long since I've read stats, it doesn't come naturally anymore. Uh, for the clan, 
Christine Howlett on the right side, killing it. Nine total kills, zero errors, 15 attempts, and uh, hitting a 600. Not bad. Tessa May in the middle hitting six kills, two errors, 15 total attacks, hitting a 267. Again, not a bad uh, <laughs> attack percentage here. The Nooks taking the court. Uh, they are definitely looking for a win here in the West Gym. I don't remember the last time they uh, beat us. It would have been when I was playing, though, for sure. It probably was my second season. Uh, they definitely beat us back then. We were developing, trying to get <laughs> get used to the speed of the NCAA game here. Uh, yeah, prior to 2010, we were in the CIS, which was definitely a bit of a different game. And uh, now we're well adjusted, as you can see, based on the clans. Great uh, record for the 2016 season here. Both teams on the court looking for the their second uh, set win for this this match tonight. Clan today definitely having a bit of a change of pace. Uh, last week they faced the top team in the conference, and tonight they are playing a team who definitely has a uh, not as strong of a record. The, the Nanooks are near the bottom half of the GNAC here. So mentally, uh, going into these games, it's tough. You don't want to be writing off any teams because, as you can see, they just want to set over the clan. Um, but it is hard uh, to to keep mentally fresh and um, focused to make sure you're not playing down to a certain level. And uh, we definitely saw a little bit of that uh, tonight with the clan, not as crisp as uh, they played against Western Washington. Um, the Nooks obviously have nothing to lose here, so they also coming out um, swinging hard. So uh, definitely uh, gonna be not an easy game to mat or to to win for the clan and uh, definitely if the Nanooks are successful tonight, that's going to be a big win for them, but they have a lot of hard work to do uh, since the clan do have that strong record and uh, that strong offense and defense. So again, tuning into the third set here, uh, the Nooks already up. Devin May hitting on the outside there. That one <laughs> barely out of bounds, but that is a point. Clan. Allison McKay going back to serve. Oh, that's a setter dump. I don't know about you, but I thought that was a bit of a lift. Little roll shot. Christine Howlett on the outside. Another little tip. Someone hit the ball. A uh, little roll shot again. Hard to hit it full force when it's out of system. There's a swing, and again, a little bit of a carry. I thought it had a bit of a stall on her fist, but her fist was closed. That's a quick set to the outside there. Right side, Christine Howlett. Oh, what a surprise. That's another kill. Christine Howlett on fire. Using the block. Allison McKay again with the jump serve. Tough serve. Set the middle. Almost scores. Tessa or Devin May on the outside. Pushing it deep. Back row attempt. The Nook. 51. Tessa May slamming it down. That's a tough one to receive. Uh, number seven, Jen Hickel, trying to receive that. That's a, yeah, pretty much at your face. You kind of put your limbs out and hope for the best. Ooh, you don't see that very often. Allison McKay serving into the net. Point in the nooks. Going back to that dig. Um, yeah, for the, a lot of the time in the middle, again, fast fast for the middle it's also really quick for the uh, offense or sorry the defense on the other side to be reacting so 
Sometimes it's just luck of being there. Uh, stay low, <laughs> keep your head up, and uh, yeah, and react. It's it's all just a quick reaction. There's not a lot of uh, things you can do to be super technical about those things. It's just getting under the ball and hoping it goes up, kind of thing. There's a point for the clan. Tip off the block. Bad receive, yeah. I'm watching another game. <laughs> I'm not watching another game. I just... Again, the end of the week, guys. Give me a break. Jamie Bradsford back to serve for the clan. And just touches the tape and over. Pushed outside for Amberly Jean. Step around, Tessa Main. Blocked by the Nanooks. Tessa, or Devin on the outside. Oh, okay, yep. I was going to say, we need to call on that one. Definitely a little bit of an anticlimactic ending there, but again, gotta score the point somehow. Just score it, move on, make the next one better. Short serve. Tessa May with a big block. Oh, number 21. It looks a little bit tight on the net there on her 51. Uh, or Tamara Nett putting it outside for Devin. Uses the block. Get the kill. And timeout Nanooks early in the game. Uh, Clan with a big jump though, 8 to 2. Let's uh, see if we can see a replay on that one. Another dig, and there it is. Again, talking about that uh, little bit of a mismatch in the block. Uh, number one, Rachel Nichols is definitely a bit shorter than any middle she's gonna be blocking besides. So guaranteed that most teams will take advantage of that, set their outsides uh, a little bit closer to the antenna so they can rip it uh, over top or even yeah, use that mismatch in the block and hopefully use Use her her hands um, and tool off the block. Yeah, so last set, the clan pretty much trailed the entire time. Obviously, a bit of a different start, which is good for the clan here. Up five points, six points. Uh, so definitely a different feeling for the clan. Um, for the Nanooks, just a... A little bit of bad luck and uh, not as great as uh, passing because they haven't had the same amount of uh, attempts at, or, or sorry, uh, assists or kills. Um, that all starts with the pass again. Another point for the clan, Jamie Bratsburg serving. Bump set out to Amberly Je uh, Jean. Puts the clan in a bit of trouble there. Bump set over. And just a little bit out. Linesmen don't see a touch. That will be point for SFU. Jamie Bratsburg with the serve. That's uh, a tough float serve, a little bit tight. Looks like a 50, or sorry, a 31 for, yeah, then the Nooks. Then the Nooks uh, took that point. Rachel Nichols back to serve for the Nanooks. Tessa May with the step around. 31 in the middle there. Good dig by the Nanooks. Amberly Jean just hitting it out of bounds. She uh, jumped a bit early there it looks like and she came down as she's hitting the ball so she yeah, just put it a little bit out of bounds. 
Devin May going back to serve. Bump set outside and just wide at the court. Number 11, Angela Molesworth. Devin May with her second serve here. On the right side, Amberly Jean with the kill. That's a big kill. No, not really much of a block there. And no touch on the dig. That's a straight up kill. All right. Here's Paola Oliver Otero coming in to serve. As always, jump serve. See if the clan can get this side out right away. Her serve has given, given them trouble before. Again, another tight pass. That always seems to happen on that first serve. Uh, point, Nanooks. As a team, usually it's a good, to, good strategy to have a bunch of different servers. Uh, mix in some floats, some jump floats, some deep floats, and then your token jump server to really screw everyone up. Clan answered back that time. Big kill. Tessa May on the step around. That's a big point for the clan, taking 12 to 6. 12 to 5. 12 to 5 for the clan. Thirteen to five, it makes it actually. That was a big kill by Tessa May. Going back to serve now, nice and easy. Still puts him in trouble. Little roll shot, Emma Jennings on the outside, going back on the right side for the Nooks. Again with the right side attack. Bump set, Maddie Power, Emma Jennings trying to get a touch on that. A little bit of a scramble here. Emma Jennings swinging away. Oh, please call that. That was definitely a lift. But yes, they call it tipped off the block anyway. Or, sorry, tip shanked. That is a point for the clan regardless. But these refs tonight seem to be missing a couple of those potential uh, carries. Amberly Jean with a back row attempt just outside the court. That was a Gonna, that was a pretty pretty lucky for the clan that it actually was just a little bit too long. No one went for that ball. Uh, the Nooks calling a timeout. That is their second timeout of the set. And it uh, the clan is up 15 to 5. This is a big jump in the third set. 10 points. That's a pretty big deficit to come back with only uh, the clan having to score only 10 more points in the in the entire set. Um, the Nooks obviously um, have their work cut out for them. Uh, the clan has uh, definitely capitalized on the uh, they have, they pass better, they have set better, and then come the kills. So now the Nooks they really got to turn up their defensive game here, dig some balls, and answer back. It's a long way to go to Fairbanks. I always liked heading over that way, though. Alaska is a pretty fun place to be, and it was always a fun trip. Uh, best memories, for sure, on those trips. Uh, we'd go... I don't know if they do the exact same thing anymore because they've added Concordia College since I... Uh, at, or since I uh, have I've left the GNAC, so... But uh, we used to go to Fairbanks and Anchorage uh, the same weekend. And... Substitution of Alaska Fairbanks here. Uh, number eight, Maddie Davis, an outside hitter, comes into the game. Tessa May back to serve for the clan. Oh, and that's a good answer after that timeout. Riley Potowitz with the kill on the 31. Going back to serve now. Number 12, Kim Wong, coming back into the front row in the middle. She's the one with the most amount of kills. Oh, and that's too bad. That is a serve just out of bounds. Point clan. It is 16 to 6 currently. Again, 10 points. That's a big, big gap. Tamara Nip going back to serve for the clan. Oh. 
61, that's a quick play. 51, answered back. Maddie Power with the kill. Shank the Nooks. That's a forceful play. I always love that. Middle to middle. You run your middle, we'll run it back. A little bit low of a set there, but still managed to keep it going. Christine Howlett with a big block. Let's see a replay of that one. Eighteen to six here. Oh, Tamara Nip serves into the net. It is now eighteen to seven. Canucks serving number seven, Jenna Hickel. Oh boy, that is a huge kill. Christine Howlett, who would have guessed it? On the step around, let's see a replay of that one. Look how high she gets on that approach. Quick, quick and fast. Katie Dalgic in to serve again. Puts him in trouble. Back row attempt. Uh, Amberly Jean bumps it over. Easy play for the Nooks. 61 or step. Oh, big save. Uh, not quite. Hey, that was a good touch by Kim Wong. Just reactionary again. Tries to get a hand on it. Keep it up. Katie Dalgic again to serve. 20 to 7 for the clan in the third set. Okay. Just a little trickler. Trickler over the net. Lucky. This net is your friend, anyone's friend tonight, apparently. Just the right amount of tension. There's a better receive. For the Nooks and answered with a huge kill. Kim Wong in the middle. Maddie Davis back to serve for the Nooks. And into the net. Not what they needed right now. 21 to 8 for. 22 to 8 for SFU. Allison McKay with the jump float. And a dump. Matt Rich Good, Rachel Nichols, their setter. Sneaky, sneaky. I think the, power, or the, the blockers there just didn't have their hands up quick enough, and it just trickled. Trickled in front of them, got by them. Outside to Devin May, big kill. Uh, number eight there, uh, Maddie Davis. I don't think her feet were quite set. Her, she was on her heels by the time she had dug it. And yeah, if you're leaning backwards, the ball's probably gonna head that way too, which it did. Jamie Bratsberg serving for the clan. Six, or uh, step around. Big block. Marinette firing it outside. Devin May killing that ball. Point plan. Jamie Bradsburg going back to serve. It is 23 to 9. Let's see a replay. 24 to 9. Sorry, possible game here. Katie Dogic with a high dig. <laughs> and an ugly way to end that set, but we'll take it. It is 2 to 1 for the clan in the West Gym here tonight. We'll take a short break and be right back. It's on us to stop sexual violence. We are Canada's NCAA team. With 400 student athletes in 17 sports. Together, we can end sexual violence at SFU. To look out for each other. And not look the other way. To get a friend home safe. To not blame the victim. It's on us. It's on us. To speak up. To step in. To support those who need it. 
to be a part of the solution, not the problem. It's on me, it's on you, it's on us. Because consent matters. 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 Learn more about how you can contribute to a culture of zero tolerance towards sexual violence at SFU by visiting sfu.ca slash sexual assault. Because together, we can make a difference. The road to greatness is not marked by perfection, but by the ability to constantly overcome adversity and failure to get better. So never give up and never give in. I am Ben Meineker and I am ready for the new season. A true champion puts every ounce of sweat and effort into the goal. Find your passion, become one with it, and great things will happen. I am Kevin Vigna, and I am ready for the new season. All right, we are just about to enter the fourth set tonight. Uh, SFU versus uh, University of Alaska Fairbanks Nanooks. Uh, players to watch out for Kim Wong on the Nanooks, uh, leading in uh, kill percentage here. She's got seven kills, two errors, 17 total attempts, doing a 2.94 currently. Uh, also, Riley Potowitz, middle hitter, five kills, one error, 15 total attempts, hitting a 2.67. Uh, clan, three big players here. Christine Hallett is still on fire. 11 kills, 20 total attempts, no errors at all, hitting a 550. Uh, Madison Power, seven kills, one error, 12 attempts, hitting a 500. And Tessa May in the middle, 10 kills, two errors, 23 attempts, hitting a 348. Should be an interesting four set here. Clan dropped the second set, but I have won the other two. Uh, looking to finish it off here so they can rest up and uh, save their save some energy for another tough game tomorrow against University of Alaska Anchorage, the Timberwolves. Sea Wolves making up mascots here. It's only been two years since I played. The Sea Wolves, they are that gym is a sea of green and yellow. Tamaranip starting off the set here. Christine Howlett with her 12th kill of the game. Plan serving to Marinette. 31. The Nux. 31 scored. 31 is a attack, by the way. It's uh, three feet in the net, one foot above the net. It is a quick middle play, and it takes a lot of uh, a lot of work between the setter and the middle to really connect on those ones. Um, because the, yeah, the slightest thing could be wrong, whether it's the attack timing or, uh, or sorry, the attacker's timing, the setter's uh, pace on the ball or the height on the ball or the space from the net. There's so many things that can go wrong, but when it does connect, it looks pretty. Number six, Megan Olsen serving for the Nanooks. Emma Jennings with the attack outside, dug up by Allison McKay off the block there. Ooh, Christine Howlett on the net, it looks like. Yep, on the net, point the Nooks. Taking an early, early lead. Megan Olsen is serving again for the Nooks. Hey, 
Short serve, 51, Madison Power blocked by the Nooks. 31 again. Oh, just made it over. Dug up, Emma Jennings pushed all the way back for Christine Howlett, touched by, oh. I am standing behind that. It did look like it was up from my angle, but ref calls it down. Point in the Nooks, the Nooks up, four to one. Megan Olsen serving again. Putting them in trouble. Christine with a deep shot there. Oh boy. This is looking like a little bit of deja vu here for the second set. Timeout, Clan. Uh, in the second set, the clan did fall, uh, I think it was about five points to the Nanooks early in the game and kind of just trailed the whole time, tightened it up, but just couldn't finish it off. Um, in second set, opposite thing, or third set, opposite thing happened. The clan led by quite a few and kept uh, picking away at their lead and ended up winning by a fair amount. Uh, clan looking to refocus right now and uh, gain control the set while they still can. The Nooks just keep doing what they're doing. Get under uh, clan skin a bit. That's, uh, again, going back to the, moment the momentum. If you're on fire, just keep on, keep up that energy, uh, and the other team usually eats away at itself a little bit. It's the nature of the game. See if the clan can change. Uh, change the pace here, change the momentum and get it back on their side. Megan Olsen with another serve for the Nooks. Coach Brian Scott telling them where to serve there. He oh, picking on Emma Jennings again. Didn't matter, it was a really good pass and uh, Good kill on the right side there. Point. Clan. Katie Dalgett coming in to serve for Anna Jennings. Tough serve. Oh boy, that looked, I think that was supposed to be out for the power not quite high enough. Bump it over, free ball for the clan. 51, Madison Power dug up, cut block. Inside set, Devin May, oh, I think two people touched that, but they put it over on the third contact. Good heads up by the Nooks. Oh, and just out, I think that's Christine's first error of the game. That's pretty good for a fourth set. Game, or volleyball is definitely a game of mistakes, so it was bound to happen. Rachel Nichols, the Nook setter, back to serve. Pass by Maddie Power, outside to Devin May, and uses the block again, lands in the court, point clan. Tessa May up to join her sister in the front row there. Let's see if they can make some magic happen in this fourth set. Allison McKay back to serve. Six to three, Clan is down three points. Oh, and now a fourth, uh, calling number 21, Tessa May on the net. I think, uh, the officials tonight, we've had uh, the, the head ref many times, but the down ref seems to be new. Oh, a little bit of uh, back and forth ugly action there, but Nanook's triumphant in that rally. Not always pretty. 10, number 10, or sorry, number 17 back to serve. And we're leaving. Oh, into the net, point clan. They needed that little, little easy point to uh, close or close the gap a bit. It's eight to four for the Nooks in the fourth set. Oh, 
Jamie Bradsburg to serve. 31, Riley Potterwitz again in the middle. I don't think that made it over. Yep, that's what the refs are calling. Four hits, point clan. Jamie Brathberg with her second serve. Looks like a 61 and barely made it over there. Devin May swinging away, touch off the block, touch off Megan Olsen and point for the clan. Jamie Bratsburg with another shot in there. Oh, a little bit of a miscommunication. I think she was running a 61 and she got set a step. Point clan on the outside. That was always the worst thing as a middle when you had something called before or the player or the setter misheard what you said. A lot of the time as a hitter, you, at least as a middle hitter, you're doing audible calls during play. You're calling what uh, you want set. So a lot of things can be missed in communication. And uh, yeah, if the set's not where you are, someone looks a little bit foolish, but uh, just as long as you kind of reset and refocus, figure out what the problem was. Uh-oh, clown in trouble there. Missed serve, Jamie Bratsburg. Riley Potterwitz goes back to serve. Nine to seven for the Nanooks. Wide serve. Just out of bounds. Good leave by the clan. Devin May going back to serve. Thirty-one again for the Nooks. And point clan. Blocked by the clan. Yeah, I think uh, timeout is coming soon for the Nanooks. 9-9. Nine, nine. It's a tie game here in the fourth set. Not as easy of a set for the clan as the third set, but they are chipping away. Clan setting Emma Jennings outside, makes the kill, trickles down in front. Emma Jennings with the kill that time. Devin eight back to serve. Pushed outside. Solo block to Marin Nip. Those lanky arms. Let's see a replay of that. Nice block. Ball setter, ball hitter. That's your cues as a blocker. Devin May with another serve, 51. Good touch, Devin on a little bit too tight to the ref stand. Emma tried, just couldn't get there. Couldn't get it, couldn't get it. Those are tough ones, because that's a big, that's a big up by uh, Devin there, but just a, little, just a little bit too far into the obstacle. I've hit that ref stand before. It doesn't feel too nice. Roll shot, Emma Jennings. Devin May digging the ball. Put behind, step around. Tessa May, she got a little bit too tight to the net there. And number 17, uh, Amberly Jean, just putting it out of bounds on that back row attempt. Madison Powers coming back into the front row in the middle. Tessa May back to serve for the clan. Thirty-one attempt, Kim Wong, and it's down. Emma Jennings going running into the sponsor banner there. Paola back in to serve. Clan only up one here. Hopefully they can side up quickly because they've run into trouble with this serve before. That's a perfect pass and a perfect execution of that hut. That was a beautiful play by the clan. 
And Christine Howlett back in to play the front row. That's a big point. And a good side out. Marinette with the serve. Almost sneaking by, not quite. A oh, little tip. Back row temp by Devin May. 31. Kim Wong on fire with those 31s. She gets up really high. 31s are really quick, and usually the middle blocker is left one on one, so you do have a little room to play with the angles, but it is all about timing and those. If you if you're late, you don't you uh, limit yourself with your angles. Back to Emma Jennings, slams it down in the pot. No one even had time to react to that one. See a replay of that. Boom, there it is. Emma Jennings gets to cool off a little bit on the sideline while Katie Dogick serves for her. Katie's been a very solid serving sub and back row defensive sub this entire game. Ooh, a little bit of a communication. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Someone moved out of the way and there the ball was on the ground. Hopefully the Nooks can figure that one out. Tough serve, Katie Dalgic. Oh, and ooh, just into the net. I think she was trying short and didn't put enough sauce on it. Rachel Nichols in to serve. Just clears the net. Oh, tight pass. A penetration? Nope. What are we calling here? Yeah. Tamara Nip, back row setter. Not allowed to do that. Evan Jennings back into play. Rachel Nichols with her second serve. Push outside, Devin May. It looks, oh, I saw a touch. Please call it a touch. There's no touch, apparently. Point Nanooks. <laughs> it's all tied up. 15 15. Fourth set. Bump set out to Devin May. Oh, a little tricky shot. Devin plays beach. So you see those shots from time to time. Just a little bit deep there on that power shot uh, point plan. Yeah, again, I go. I always say this. You don't always have to hit the ball hard. You just have to play it smart. Smart shots will score. That's Devin's always depended to, or dependable for that. She uh, she can put the ball away and she can hit it hard, but she will use her brain, look at the court, see where the holes are, and put the ball there. Uh, Amberly Jean back to serve for the Nooks. A little bit of trouble there. Bump set to Devin. Oh, a little bit of a short shot. Over bump. Everything looks a bit slower in this rally. Tessa made plunking the ball over. Back to Christine. And there it is. Kill for the clan. Uses the block. Tool off the block. Point clan. Jamie Ratzberg serving for Christine. Oh, just wide of the court. That's a point for the Nooks. Riley Potowitz going back to serve. Oh, I think that's the first time Jamie Ratzberg has missed her serve all game. Allison McKay struggling to get that ball up. That's a ace, Riley Potowitz. The Nooks point. They are now winning. Uh, 18 to 17. Timeout. Clan. Again, uh, it's been a tight game or tight set um, in this fourth set here. Uh, right now, Gina has definitely called the timeout just to make sure that uh, the Nooks don't take. Uh, take this lead and keep go rolling with it. Uh, she wants to nip it in the butt. Uh, tonight, SFU Volleyball uh, on Clan TV live stream 
is brought to you in part by Nestor's Market, the official grocer of SFU Athletics, the Hilton Vancouver Metro Town Hotel, and the SFU Spirit Shop. All right, teams are taking the court pretty quickly here. Again, it plan is trailing by a couple points. Late in the fourth set, looking to finish it up so they don't have to go for that nail fighting fifth set. They want to rest up for tomorrow's match against the Sea Wolves. Number 21, Riley Potowitz in to serve. Had an ace before this timeout. Emma Jennings, a little bit of a struggle. Tessa May with a step around, not quite. Kim Wong, not quite. Again, step around. Dug up by Amberly Jean. Who's going to finish it? Amberly Jean tucked the net, worked out in SFU's favor, it looks like. Standing down ball. Outside to Devin May, just out. And oh, linesman's calling a touch. Oh, yeah, the, I didn't see it, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like the refs have missed a couple tonight, so. It goes both ways, it always goes both ways. Well, we hope at least. Point clan, Devin May with the serve, needed that point. Oh, call that, sorry. That was definitely, that was definitely a dirty contact. She went up for a one-handed set and it came over on the clan side. Physically, that seems like a double contact to me, but guess I'm wrong. I'm not, that's, this is why I'm not the official tonight. Number seven back to serve, Jenna Hickel. Nice pass by Devin May, inside set. Uh, Emma Jennings with the kill. Point plan. It's all tied up again, 19 to 19. Tessa May looking for a serving streak here. Float serve. Little tip, but dug up by Jamie Bratsburg on the line there. Using the block, Emma Jennings with the kill. Cool, plan, point. Tessa May with another serve here. I think that the Nooks are out of timeouts. Could be wrong, they might have one. Oh, there it is. Second time out of the match. Looking to stop that little streak of momentum uh, that the clan just pushed for. Again, 20, 20 to 19 in the fourth set. Clan already up to. This could be the last set of the game. Um, yeah, no, it's been a very tight match uh, in this, or tight set. Um, both teams definitely wanting to come out with a W. Not to say that that isn't the most obvious thing in the world, but they are definitely both fighting for it. Uh, Clan has uh, struggled a bit on their uh, passing today, a lot, lot more tighter passes than we've seen uh, in other games past. So uh, that also makes for difficulty for the setters to uh, execute their plays um, that they've been working on. So uh, if they can keep the passes off the net, I have no doubt that... Uh, their big players, uh, Christine Hallett, Tessa May, Emma Jennings, will uh, put the ball away and uh, score the clan a few points. The Nooks, uh, Kim Wong in the middle has been on fire as well as Riley Potowitz. They both have been huge contenders in this uh, this match. So they, they keep setting them. They'll, they've been doing really good things all game. So both teams, big players, Let's see who's going to... It's going to take advantage here. Kim Wong in the middle with the attempt. 51 attempt. Oh, just wide. Maddie Davis with the attempt on the outside there. Yeah, touched the tape and just rolled slightly on there and out of bounds. Tessa May on a bit of a serving run here. Nothing fancy, just a standing float, but it works. Tamara Nip with those lanky arms again. Let's see a replay of that. I think she even jumped a bit early. Yeah, 
Yeah, she was coming down when she blocked that. Tessa May again with the serve. Oh, Setter Dump tried to get the control back. No thank you, says the clan. Emma Jennings dumping it into the pot. Little campfire action there for Fairbanks. Oh, and Fairbanks had another timeout. I really messed up those timeouts there. I thought they were done, but the clan must have called the other one. Uh, all right, so here we are in the fourth set. 23-19 for the clan. Our upcoming game, like I mentioned, uh, the SSU clan face the uh, University of Alaska Anchorage Seawolves. Uh, both teams are undefeated so far in the season. Again, it doesn't mean that uh, this game is over tonight, but it's looking like the clan is taking control of this fourth set, which would be a final if the clan finished it off here. So tomorrow at 7 o'clock, two teams uh, who are doing very well in their uh, GNAC conference and their overall preseason too uh, face off. It will be an exciting match tomorrow in the West Gym. Tessa May behind the line ready to serve for the clans. 23 to 19. Fourth set. Silence in the gym. Yeah, nothing fancy. Oh, that didn't look like it went over, but if it was a block, it was a block. Point, plan. Possible game and possible match point here. 24 to 19 for the clan. Fourth set. Could be wrapping up right now. And a shorter serve. Pushed outside. Blocked by Maddie Power. Again pushed outside. Big block, Maddie Power. And that is the set. That is the game. Clan win 3-1 to one over the Nanooks. Well done to SFU Clan. I'm glad that uh, they were able to finish it on something like that and not like the last set where they ended up kind of flubbing the ball over and winning uh, winning the, the match that way. Uh, the Clan now uh, hold a 10 and 1 record in their overall season and 3 and 0 in uh, their GNAC conference. So tomorrow they will face the Nanooks, um, who currently are, sorry, they will face the Seawolves, who are currently undefeated. Um, so one team that record will be changed. Hopefully it's not the clan. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight on Clan TV. Uh, again, if uh, you you want to tune in tomorrow, join us again tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Uh, Alaska Anchorage uh, will be here in the West Gym, 7 o'clock. Hope to see you there.